Hi, I'm Tom Richardson for Voting Local, and I'm here at the western tip of Hull, Massachusetts. Behind me is Hull Gut. You can see a commuter boat going by because Hull Gut is the main passage into the southern part of Boston Harbor and also Hull Bay. And it's where we're going to begin our quick tour video of Hull, Massachusetts, a town with a rich seafaring history and one that also has a lot to offer modern boaters. The major thoroughfare between Hull Bay and the ocean is Hull Gut, whose deep water and swift currents make an ideal location for boat and shore fishermen seeking trophy striped bass and bluefish. On the other side of the gut, opposite Windmill Point, is Pettix Island, part of the Boston Harbor Islands National Park. As with most of the Harbor Islands, boaters are welcome to go ashore and explore Pettix on their own. The Wooded Island is home to several historic buildings and a freshwater marsh and will open for camping in 2013. As you pass through Hull Gut and enter Hull Bay, you'll notice a square red roof boathouse on the south side of Windmill Point. Built by the Coast Guard in the 1930s, the building is now maintained by the Hull Life Saving Museum, which uses it to store its traditional rowing dories and gigs. These functional wooden boats are used for the museum's many rowing programs and events, including the annual Snow Row, held each March on Boston Harbor. Just east of the old life-saving station is Pemberton Pier, home to a popular bait and tackle store and restaurant. Boaters are welcome to tie up along the pier to grab a bite to eat or stock up on ice, food, and bait. The beach adjacent to the pier is a convenient place to launch a small boat or kayak. A bit further down the shore is a large metal boathouse and pier of Coast Guard Station Point Allerton. The original station, built in 1889, still exists on the north side of the peninsula. It was here that Captain Joshua James was appointed first keeper of the U.S. Life Saving Service, predecessor to the modern U.S. Coast Guard. Today, Point Allerton Station remains one of the largest stations in the Coast Guard. As you proceed deeper into the bay, residential houses line the shore. Among them, you might spy the original home of the Hull Yacht Club and its distinctive maidenhead columns. Founded in 1880, the club is now located behind Spinnaker Island. It maintains deep water moorings that are available to members of reciprocating clubs in the area and also offers sailing lessons, races, and sailboat rentals through Sail Nantasket. Other options for seasonal and transient boaters include Hull's two full-service marinas, Sunset Bay and Steamboat Wharf. The former is located midway along the peninsula and offers fuel, ice, showers, laundry, moorings, launch service, and transient slips. It's also home to the Sea Dog Brew Pub, a great place to enjoy a meal or cocktail overlooking the water. Boaters can tie up at the marina for $10 for lunch and $20 for dinner while they visit the restaurant. The Long Town Pier adjacent to the marina is a popular swimming and fishing spot among local kids. Trailer boaters will find a concrete launch ramp at the pier's base, plus a float at the end of the pier for short-term tie-up. Also near Sunset Bay is a liquor store and a convenience store where you can reprovision with basic grocery items. And it's just a short walk to Nantasket Beach on the ocean side of the peninsula. Hull's other marina, Steamboat Wharf, is located on the scenic Weir River. To get there, round the western tip of Bumpkin Island, which also offers public camping, and follow the well-marked channel east. The river twists and turns as it winds past beautiful World's End, a trustees of reservations property, and flows deep into the marshes of Hingham and Cohasset. This is prime kayaking territory. Steamboat Wharf Marina gets its name from the passenger vessels that used to dock at the site as they transported visitors to and from Paragon Park and Nantasket Beach, once a popular summer resort. Today, Marina co-owner Justin Gould, who purchased the former Nantasket Pier facility in 2005, is continuing the tradition of welcoming boaters to the area and providing a good home for those who want to keep their boats in hull seasonally. Justin, tell us a little bit about what makes uh, Hull a special destination, one that deserves a little more attention. Sure. I'm glad you made it down the Hull. It's still a little bit of a hidden gem. It's a great spot. It's a small, intimate marina. We have 100 slips. We have a guest dock that can accommodate anywhere from 4 to 12 boats. We built a beautiful building where we have a nice two-bay service garage. We've got a couple full-time mechanics. We store about 100 boats in the winter. Um, so we do a little bit of everything. We have a mooring business that operates out of this site. 
We have a great canvas maker that operates out of this site. Yeah. Great fish market here. Right so, on site, right? Right on site. Lobster mania. Yep. <laughs> Fresh lobster was alive this morning. These are the lobsters that just came in today. All these ones at the bottom just showed up. Uh -huh. People come in every night of the week. We offer specials. We also offer a lobster bake, and that's twin lobsters, pound of steamers, baked potato, corn on the cob. Chowder goes like crazy, lobster rolls. It's a great spot. We stay open year round because we buy the catch from about 30 different boats. That's how you make it. Stop it. Some people complain because there's too much money. Never heard of such a thing. Well, well, thanks a lot for the uh, giving us a lowdown on Steamboat Wharf Marina. We're going to hop in a boat and go take a little tour of Hull by water and find out some of the other things you need to know as a boater. Ah, uh, perfect. Yeah. For the people that come here for the first time, they've never been up the Ware River, they're, they're shocked that you get a place like World Dead that they've never heard of. It's just kind of a unique trip coming up the Ware River if you've never been up here before. Justin, where's the no-wake zone extend to from your marina to where? Sunset Point is where the uh, mouth of the Weir River basically starts. Mm -hmm. So it is a no-wake zone all the way out there, right before Bumpkin Island. And, and then after uh, that, you're free to after, open it up and yeah, blast yeah. out. After that, you can open it up. You can be out to Boston Light in about 10 minutes from there. Mm -hmm. I noticed on the way out here, we saw a bunch of kayakers and they're, you know, beached up on, uh, it looks like a, a gravel beach on World's End. Yeah, you'll, you'll find a lot of kayakers around here. I mean, there's so many miles of tributaries. There's just a lot of great places for nature lovers to throw their kayak in the water and, and check everything out. That's right, rope board. Yeah, it's protected, it's warm, it's clean, so it's a fun place. There's little beaches like this up on World's End that you can pull into, hop out of the kayak, go for a swim. Um, there is a kayak rental business out of the uh, marina. They're always selling out their kayaks on the weekend. You get tandem kayaks, you can load up the whole family and take them out here or, you know, yeah. more of a kid-friendly place, like a little beach that sure. you'll find along yeah. the way. That's great. Justin, tell us about what's going on here. There's tons of people anchored up and rafted up. What's going on? Basically a nice anchorage in the backside of World's End. And um, you get some pretty crafty people that come out here. <laughs> of a good tailgate. Kind of a fun, peaceful weekend. Though. Yeah, you see it all out here. Yes, you do. <laughs> After our tour of the Ware River, we returned to the marina, where Justin described some of the nearby shoreside attractions. Once you get here, a lot of variety of things to do, especially in the summer. It's very unique in the sense that you're in the harbor, you know, you're in the bay, but you go across the street and you have one of the most beautiful beaches in the state. Nice, nice sandy beach. Yeah. A beach can entertain a kid for weeks, so you can definitely yes. entertain it for I, a I few know, days. I, I know what you mean. The beach Justin referred to is Nantasket Beach, which draws throngs of Boston area residents on hot summer days. And when a swell is running, it's a good spot to catch a wave. Many people remember Nantasket as the home of Paragon Park, a once popular amusement park that opened in 1960.